I am sure that after seeing the intro of this video, you will like to create this animation and effect. Animation of objects blowing up. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create this effect in 3D Max and TIE Flow software. You can inflate or deflate any object by watching this tutorial. It is your creativity that makes the result better and more attractive. So I suggest you don't miss this tutorial. Hello, welcome to MimViz. To start the training, we go to the 3D Max software. To start, go to the Create menu and create a text in the Shapes tab. Due to the popularity of the Barbie movie these days, we decided to use the word Barbie in this tutorial. I rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis to make it vertical. In the Modify tab, type the word Barbie and select the desired font. I chose a font called Artifact. In the next step, we need to add thickness to the text, which can be done using the bevel modifier. For example, 15 centimeters. I allocate 7 centimeters to add some symmetry. In the next part, you can add a chamfer with desired dimensions to the object. Now we add symmetry so that we have a total width of 14 centimeters. For this reason, we added symmetry because we wanted both sides of the chamfer to exist. Because fabric behavior is the most important issue of this animation, we need to have more polygons. For this, we use the subdivide modifier. We select the variable curvature mode to have a proper division. This amount is good for now. I will improve it later with the help of Tessellate. Make sure the interpolation in the text is set to Adaptive for smooth lines. Well, the object is ready. Now we need to create a tie flow. We go to the Create menu and create it by clicking and dragging. We open the editor. The operator can be searched and created with the help of Tab. We create a birth object. We pick the desired object. We hide the text because we don't need it. To have cloth behavior, use cloth bind in tie flow. If you don't like these particles on the screen, you can turn off the mark particles option in the display. In this way, it does not bother us anymore. As you can see in the video, the letters should start to wind from the left side in order. For this, we need an auxiliary object. Suppose a box is here and it moves from left to right, and it binds the letters until they start to inflate. We draw a box and adjust it to a size that covers the entire text when passing through it. We place the box at the beginning of the path and with the help of auto key, we animate it up to 50 frames until the end of the path. As you can see, the box is animated. Open the editor to create the desired command. First, we disable the binding operation with the help of particle switch. Now, by adding surface test and adding box, we apply our limit. With the help of this parameter, we can define the distance to create the effect from the box, which we consider to be one centimeter. Now, the previous operations must be activated again. So we create a separate particle switch and add surface test to it. As you can see, it moves from left to right and the effect is created. We can solve the problem of showing particles in the display tab. 
But why do we not move and everything is fixed? Let's go to cloth bind. In the binding properties section, we need to define how the cloth should behave. If the length bias number is above 1, it will be inflated, and if it is below 1, it will be empty. We enter the number 1.4. Now we need to enable collision so that it reacts by colliding with itself. Nothing happened. Why? Because in the particle switch, we did not activate active. Let's see how it works. Very bad. Let's solve the problem. We select tie flow and reduce the time step option in the setting. Here we can specify the simulation quality. Let's wait for the simulation to finish. We see that it got better. Let's minimize the problem. In the next step, we must specify in the editor that the inflation of the object should be continuous and not stopped. For this, we add a modify binding above the particle switch, set the timing to continuous, and set the number of inflation forces to 3. Let's see the result. Continuous inflation happens, and this is what we wanted. As you can see, the behavior of the fabric is still fast and rough. Now we need to add a slow to it for a more controlled simulation. Let's put it on 15 or 20 and see the result. It got much, much better. It is still a quarter and it is better to slow down the whole animation. For this, we go to tie flow and reduce the speed in retimer. We don't need to see this box. In object properties, select the renderable option and tick the display as box. There is automatically gravity in tie flow. To remove it, go to the physics tab and turn off the gravity option. In this way, objects are suspended and thrown into the air by colliding with each other. For better quality, we add a tessellate to have more polygons. We can also reduce the distance between letters so that they have more physical contact with each other. We re-enable the options and run the simulation at 100 frames. The simulation is finished and the output quality is very good. By increasing the number of frames, we can see the result more fully and better. You can also create different outputs by selecting the appropriate object and working with the parameters. If you are interested in getting to know the output and presentation of this animation, write us a comment. Like, comment and subscribe to support us. Also, if you have a topic in mind, be sure to let us know so we can make a video for you. Bye until the next tutorial.